This so you can make a shutdown command and notification system for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before i show you how to do this i'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on youtube or you can get a god tier subscription on discord we also have the bot tier which is a full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos you can also get any of these four bot packages they are fully coded discord bots based on a specific topic all of this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go in again in the code all right so let's go ahead and start by going over to other and i'm going to go ahead and create shutdown.js then this we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and then we're going to do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package next we're going to do module that exports and we're going to get owner which is going to be true then we can do data which is going to be our new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and set a name which is going to be a shutdown we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be shut down the bot and we can do dev only as well then we can add a comma we're going to do async execute we can get our interaction and we can open this up so one thing is if you do not have the owner system set up basically this is in your interaction create event it just checks to see if your user id is the user id running this command uh, if you don't have this system set up remove this and run a check within this it's pretty straightforward just check to see if the interaction.user.id is your or ID and if it's not just return so first let's go ahead and actually define our client then we're gonna go ahead and come inside of this and we can do con guilds equals awaits and we can go ahead and do client.guilds.fetch and I'm just gonna leave it at that then we can do var owners equals an empty array we can do await guild stuff for each we can async our guild and we can open this up we're gonna do var guild info equals await client.guilds.fetch and we're just gonna fetch our guild that ID then we can go ahead and say owners.push and we're going to go ahead and push our guild info dot owner id so we're basically getting all of the owners from every single guild that the bot is in and we're making an array with all of that information that way we can go ahead and send the owners a message just before the bot shuts down saying that the bot is turning off because the developers shut it down uh, it's just kind of like a notification system so that the users of the bot know why it's off then we can go ahead and do owners equals and we can do uh, dot dot dots we can do new and we can do sets and we're just going to go ahead and get owners owners uh, just like that so what that line is doing is it's essentially just removing any duplicate values so we don't send two messages to an owner if the bot is in uh, two servers owned by the same person uh, now we're going to go ahead and do awaits and we can do owners for each and i'm going to go ahead and do our async owner we can open this up we're going to do var user equals awaits and we can do client.users.fetch we're going to go ahead and just get our owner then we're going to go ahead and do await user.send now i'm just going to go ahead and catch an error and we're just going to leave this blank for now uh, and then i'm going to finish the command and we're going to add that back so we're going to do await interaction.reply we can get our contents and i'm just going to go ahead and get a arm emoji and we can say shutting it down and i'm going to go ahead and set infermal to true then we can go ahead and actually shut it down so we're going to do await process.exit and that is going to be all we actually have to do there so now let's go ahead and configure the send message so i just kind of thought about this now so let's go ahead and add this in we're going to go ahead and add a string option and we can do option error function option to set name this can just be maybe message and we can go ahead and say a description we can go ahead and say the message to send to the server owners and we can actually go ahead and set required to true just like that so now we can come down here and we're going to get our options and we can go ahead and set that equal to our interaction and we can do const message equals options that get string and we're going to get our message string just like that so now within this we're going to go back to our user send and let's go ahead and get a string and i'm just going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and then we're going to pass in our message just like that so we're always going to have that emoji but then we're going to go ahead and have this message here so essentially what that is going to allow us to do is when we shut down the bot we're going to be able to customize the message that gets sent to the owner so if we have a specific reason for shutting it down then we can go ahead and pass that in there so with that we're actually done with this entire command so let's go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test 
test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So as you can see, we have our online bot here. Uh, so we can just go ahead and run our shutdown command and we're going to go ahead and send the message so we can go ahead and say the bot is shutting down for updates and downtime for the host or something like that. Uh, so basically, we'd just be able to send a message like that, notifying the owners of the guilds that the bot is in, that the bot is turning off. So then, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and reply saying shutting down. Um, and it's also going to go ahead and send me a message. But uh, as you can see here, the bot is still online. So it should have shut down, but it actually didn't. Now, the thing about this is, I'm sure you're aware, but the bot is not going to turn off right away. It's going to take a couple of minutes before it goes from online status to offline. For example, if we were to run a command and we were to send it, uh, as you can see, the command is not going to work because the bot is technically off. It just hasn't displayed off. Now, if we go over into my DMs of the bot, as as you can see here, I get a brand new message saying the bot is shutting down for updates and downtime for the host. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. This time we can go ahead and run shutdown and we can just go ahead and say uh, the bot is turning off for the night. It will be back up tomorrow or something like that, um, just so the owners know why the bot is actually turning off. And if we were to go ahead and send it, as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and say shutting down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get a brand new message uh, from the bot. Now, it looks like there's duplicate messages, but this is actually working properly. I just ran the command twice. So that's you can make an advanced shutdown system and notification system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways, because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.